What you're about to see is not a story about cancer. It's about a larger-than-life figure getting some unexpected news, but he's ready to fight like hell to make sure the hundreds of thousands of people who watch and engage with him every day get their dose of serotonin and maybe discover some hidden gems of where they can have their next lunch. There she is. What's happening, baby? You ready for me? He's one of Acadiana's and some might say Louisiana's biggest personalities. You can recognize his voice and spot his huge smile from the parking lot. Your voice never been to politics before, baby. You heard me? Look, I got you. Ah. Throwing in with like the Kentwood man. Let's go. In July of this year, Gerald Grinick was diagnosed with stage two Hodgkin's lymphoma, a type of cancer that affects the lymphatic system. Late in 2022, he noticed some swelling in his neck, which didn't trigger any alarms because his daughters had just gotten over an illness. Fast forward to Father's Day 2023. I was sitting in the kitchen with my wife. We were fussing with some friends about, you know, honestly, crawfish fettuccine and yeah. if the crawfish tails were too old. <laughs> and my wife said, Jerry, you need to calm down. Your neck's bulging. I said, no, I got some lumps on my neck that I needed to go get checked out. About a week after seeing his doctor, the results were in. I was preparing myself for that diagnosis or what they thought would be that diagnosis, but when you hear it, man, yeah. it's uh, at the knees, bruh. It's the news coming as a shock to the big fella, but in true Gerald fashion, the silver lining is never too far removed from the situation. From there, mm -hmm. I was looking forward to just getting good news. And you might say he did get a positive update. Almost seven months had passed since he first felt swelling. I got my CT results back and Everything was just in the left-hand side of my neck. I went to sleep on Monday night thinking I could have cancer all over my body. Yeah. I woke up on Tuesday morning and found out, hey, bro, what's happening? Yeah. You j it's just in your neck. Gerald's doctors describe his cancer as indolent and slow-moving. So as he begins his road to recovery with chemotherapy, he's staring down eight, two- or three-hour treatments every other Tuesday. And good news is it's 90 to 95% curable, dude. So at that point, I'm like... Let's go, baby. While making only minor adjustments to his very busy daily schedule, he still plans to be an active team member on Paspa 2 and showcasing a local restaurant every Tuesday and Thursday for Acadiana Eats. The selfless Grunick, even comforting me, a friend of nearly a decade, during a very emotional interview. I wake up every day, I choose my attitude. Every day. And that's one of those things where it's like, man, no, I'm a... I'm going to shut it down. Like, no, man, I got chemo on Tuesday afternoon. I did pass by two Wednesday, Acadia. Like, bro, yeah. the train keeps rolling, my brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know that. <laughs> yes, so yeah. we're going to do it. Let's go. We have no doubt about that. Of course, he's motivated by his loving wife, Ariel, and their two lovely mm -hmm. daughters. He's also looking forward to the Acadia Eats Festival October 28th, as his last round of chemo is set for October 31st. Great job, yeah. Dalfred, on... Uh, on the story and, and letting us uh, in on mm -hmm. what's going on in his life and him sharing it all with us. And of course, in true Gerald fashion, as you said, always looking out always. for the next person. It's so crazy. And he informed our oh. staff today, yeah. kind of the same way. Yeah, you know, he wants to you know, let people know what he's going through. Of course, mm -hmm. he's, gonna, he's gonna be Gerald, but if you see yes. him in the street, you know, give him a little grace. Yes. He might be a little tired from a... From the treatment, the and, yeah. right, and, and a little distance yeah. kind of helps. As many people know, when you're going through that sort of thing, uh, distance is important. Absolutely. So, and because you, you know, Gerald wants to give you a big Always. bear hug, but that'll <laughs> come job. after the treatment. <laughs> Absolutely.